This video presentation on the Tech 2 Scan Tool is part of an interactive self-study training course. Be sure to complete the self-study workbook and test to receive credit for this training. This video introduces the latest computerized diagnostic tool called the Tech 2. By viewing and performing the procedure shown, you'll complete an excellent introduction to the Tech 2 before you're faced with using it to address the service needs of your valued customers. First, let's review what the Tech 2 offers and the best way for you to get off to the right start. If you can use an ISAT, you can use the Tech 2. The Tech 2 was necessary to handle communication with the newer, faster ECMs used for OBD2 and other advanced automotive systems. Specifically, the Tech 2 offers these enhancements over the ISAT. The Tech 2 is more powerful than the ISAT. The Tech 2 has more memory to offer two snapshots. Its bigger screen offers more visible parameters and graph plotting capability. The Tech 2 also has more flexibility using soft keys for time-saving shortcuts. Let's look at these and the other features in order to help you make the most of them. First of all, the Tech 2 should be easier on your eyes. Not only is the screen larger, it also allows for contrast adjustment. Furthermore, you can use the tilt stand to enhance the viewing angle. The keypad has several new keys. There are two control keys, power and shift. Both have lights to verify engagement. The Tech 2 keypad lets you use your thumb to push the up and down arrow keys to move through selections on the screen. When you highlight the desired selection, merely push the enter key. Right near the arrow keys, there are exit, yes, and no keys for thumb action as well. There are also enter and exit keys near the F function keys. The four soft keys allow for special functions. Typically, the more soft key when displayed is used to view additional soft key functions. Experience with the Tech 2 will prove the value of these soft keys and the shortcuts they offer. The question mark key is for help on how to navigate with the Tech 2. The Tech 2 cable accommodates either 16-pin or 10-pin DLC connectors. The Tech 2 must receive power through the DLC connector since there is no onboard 9-volt battery as found on the iSAT. And to accommodate individual comfort, the Tech 2's handle straps are adjustable. A hinged door at the top of the Tech 2 opens for access to the PCM-CIA card. PCM-CIA stands for Personal Computer Memory Card Industry Association. The industry standard PCM-CIA card is similar to the ISAT memory module, but offers more power with 10 megs of memory. The PCM-CIA card is positioned in the number zero slot the one closest to the screen. The slots button is used to eject the card. To install the PCM-CIA card, push it in gently. The PCM-CIA card will fit into the number one slot, but don't put it there as the Tech 2 will not function. This slot, closest to the back, is for future enhancements, such as a miniature hard drive for even greater data storage. Another important Tech 2 component is the Vehicle Communications Interface, or VCI module. The VCI module is similar to the ISAT's SDA and is used to interpret advanced vehicle communications. In the future, the Tech 2 can be updated with a new VCI module rather than requiring the creation of an entirely new tool. The VCI module is integrated into the tool and located at the bottom of the Tech 2. Realize that every time the Tech 2 is powered up, a thorough self-diagnostic routine is completed to verify the tool is ready for use. The Tech 2 can be updated with diagnostic software loaded from a PC. Communication uses an RS-232 connection between the Tech 2 and the PC. Also, use the included external power supply when interfacing with any PC. Once the Tech 2 identification appears on the tool's screen, Follow the terminal instructions to complete the software programming. For vehicle hookup, always remember that power and ground must come through the DLC cable to ensure the highest quality data transmission. Also note that the Tech 2 can handle a vehicle voltage as high as 20 volts. Minimum system voltage is 8 volts. 
The Tech 2's main menu offers three initial choices. F0, Diagnostics, where you can read values and activate components. F1, View Captured Data, where stored snapshots can be analyzed. And F2, Tool Options. Tool Options lets you make adjustments to the tool, including setting the clock and units of measure. Be sure to set the clock to support your snapshot usage. To establish vehicle communications, follow the screen instructions. As was mentioned earlier, use your thumb to highlight selections and press Enter to make selections. Within the F0 Diagnostics menu, you can view DTCs, read values and activate, as well as view snapshots and obtain vehicle system information. Under DTCs, you can view the vehicle's DTC information and clear DTCs. It's important to study the screens. They can change from application to application because of the wide range of functions available with the Tech 2. When reading values, you'll notice several advantages. The Tech 2 offers more lines of parameters compared to ISAT, and you can select or customize groups of parameters. To go an entire page forward or backward, use the arrow keys. The left arrow takes you back a page, and the right arrow moves you a page forward. The More key selects additional soft keys. To view a group of data parameters, press the Select Group soft key. Merely highlight the group desired and press Enter. The Tech 2 display updates much quicker in this mode. To view all of the data parameters again, press the Select All soft key. To customize a list of data parameters, first use the Select Items soft key, and then select None, so you can establish a list of available parameters. By highlighting a parameter and pressing Enter, it will receive an asterisk to indicate it's been locked in. To unlock a parameter, merely select it a second time. With the desired items locked in, push OK to view your customized list. By highlighting a parameter value and pressing Enter, a graph of it is quickly displayed for visual analysis. This function is available whenever reading values. Of special interest is using the dual snapshot functions. This is a great feature for comparing vehicle operating parameters. In Snapshot Replay, the soft keys can help you save time. By pressing More, you can go directly to Auto Reverse and Auto Forward to view the snapshot frames one after another in succession. To stop the replay, use the Stop key. By hitting the More key again, you can go directly to the first frame, last frame, or trigger frame. And by hitting the More key yet again, you can come to Previous Frame, and Next Frame, which allow you to move the snapshot display one frame at a time. Here's an example where the customer states there's an intermittent hesitation on acceleration. The system check and a visual inspection identify nothing, but you suspect the map sensor, throttle position sensor, or the crank position sensor based on previous experience. A vehicle road test with the Tech 2 to recreate the condition is a good idea. With the Tech 2 set up for manual trigger center point, a snapshot is taken when the hesitation is noticed. Then, a second snapshot can be used to record engine parameters when the hesitation doesn't occur under the same conditions. In the first snapshot, map and engine speed seem to increase smoothly. However, the TP sensor shows a fluctuation. While in snapshot, you have the option to plot data on a graph. Select Plot. Then select the items to be plotted. After the selections, press Accept to continue plotting. Notice the spike for the TP sensor. Comparing this plot to the plot of snapshot number 2 when the hesitation didn't occur, we see that all three sensor signals increase smoothly. The Tech 2 is a powerful computerized diagnostic tool. It becomes an essential tool with the 1997 model year, necessary to perform vehicle protocol communications on these and future models. The Tech 2 is truly the diagnostic tool for tomorrow, but it is ready for you today.